So this is the build video for the Hobby King Switchblade 200 Mini FPV Quadcopter. My kit didn't include an instruction, all it came with was this little card showing you some pictures of the quad in two pieces. Um, so hopefully um, I recorded this, my build at least, so you can get a better understanding how it goes together. Hopefully this helps a few folks. So you're going to need an Allen wrench, a 3mm, um, needle nose pliers. And so first thing you're going to locate the um, bottom of the dirty plate. It's the one with the larger holes in it for the rubber dampeners. So you're going to need to install eight of these rubber dampeners. Um, they're kind of fiddly, but uh, you can use um, a needle nose pliers to help you pull them through. Just be careful, they're kind of delicate. Try not to tear them. So once you complete installing eight of the rubber dampeners, next you're going to want to grab the, um, the M3 screws and uh, insert those um, through the same side that the rubber dampener is on. So this is what you're going to attach the shorter of the two standoffs. I think these are the 10 millimeter standoffs. So I, I, I like to do it just finger tight first just so you get them all positioned. And I'll probably go back and tighten them down uh, with the needle nose pliers. Accessing um, these screws uh, once the frame is accepted assembled is pretty difficult so I, I didn't do it in here but because I was planning on disassembling this to install electronics again but I would use um, some thread locker on these screws for the final assembly so next up gather um, the top plate of the dirty side it has the smaller holes and this is what you're going to attach the arms to. Take note on the arms, they're, they're, there's a counter section and that has to be facing down. And also there is a curved portion where the arms fold in and those need to be pointing towards the center of the frame. Okay, now that that's assembled, um, I just kind of folded up the arms. Um, it's going to help um, with the assembly of the next part if they're not flopping around. So next you're going to want to find the, uh, well we're going to assemble the clean side. Um, and you're going to want to, both of these um, plates are identical. So it doesn't matter which one you grab, but you need to take note of the slots. Um, one of them has two slots and the other side should have one slot and those should be together on the same end because that's what's going to hold your board cam plate together. So keep that in mind um, when you're assembling this section. So you're going to use the longer standoffs, I believe these are the 37 millimeter, and the M3 screws. Um, all the screws are the same length so you really don't need to worry about grabbing the right length. So we're going to attach eight of those um, to the top plate of the clean side. And uh, here I'm just finger tightening them and then I'm going to go back and uh, use the uh, needle nose plier and allen head to tighten them down. Again, uh, you're going to want to thread lock these you know, if you're doing this as a final build.
Okay, so now you're gonna grab the dirty side and you're gonna attach it to the clean side. Um, this part's kind of a pain in the butt as I, as I, as I first started assembling this. It's really hard to get in there and squeeze the rubber dampeners. Um, even with like these tweezers, it was still kind of a pain. Um, and I'll, after a few attempts, I'll show you um, the best way I figured it out was to use the, um, the tweezers to actually pinch the ball from the underside and feed a portion of the dampener through and then just use my finger to grab the rest of it. And as you can see, it actually goes in much easier. Just be careful not to, again, tear the rubber dampener. So go ahead and repeat that uh, for the rest of the frame. You can see it's probably the most tedious part of the build is installing the dampeners. So next up, um, you can flip the frame over and you can drop in the camera plate. Again, if this was a you know, full build the electronics, I would install your board cam first onto the camera plate. And then the next up's fairly easy, you just grab these M3 screws and just bolt the bottom clean plate to the standoffs. So there you have it. Um, this part, um, I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to deal with this. Um, you need to un loosen the Allen keys and tighten them after every um, attempt to fold and close these arms. So just make sure you check that every time you're getting ready to fly or fold it up. You may get a set of thumb screws to replace these Allen heads to make it easier on the field. Um, those extra screws are for the motors. So let's get this on the scale. And it looks like it weighs 147 grams without any electronics installed. And that would be 5.2 ounces.